Hello there, welcome back. You know, the last video was quite long because I wanted to spend some time explaining why I was doing things the way that I was doing them, you know, and I, uh, I just felt that was something worth doing. Uh, but now that that's out the way, wouldn't it be nice to have a nice short, easy video? So let's make this one nice and quick. Um, in the last video, we were uh, going, we were displaying, display all records. That's that's what was happening here. Okay, so we were displaying. Let me see. We were displaying all of the records from the table. In this video, I'm going to show you how to display a single row, or maybe I should say fetch a single row, yeah, who cares, <laughs> it's just a comment. But let's do this, but for a single row, okay? And it's very easy, we just say app, loading up, now get again, okay? It's a, a get request, and uh, we're gonna copy this here, and it's gonna be exactly the same vibe, with one little difference. Now we're passing in an ID, okay? But the way that we do this is we do curly bracket, curly bracket, and we have ID in here just like this, okay? So uh, you go like that, and then it's actually same as before. Comma, function, do that. Don't forget your semicolon. And we are rocking in the free world. So the code is very similar. We just say require once, dbconnect.php, and then we just say id equals, actually, there's something that we need, <laughs> right, there's something that I forgot which is kind of important. Do you remember how on the website, have I got the slim website, right, I haven't got it in front of me, but do you remember how the website had this request and response? Remember how that was on the actual Slim documentation? Right, in this example, we actually do need to use the request here, the request variable, okay? So we actually want to have request in here. And the way that we get the ID is we say ID equals request loading up get attribute and then we say ID, okay? So that's how we get the ID. And just to show you that this works, the ID is, oh gee, sorry. The ID is ID. So if I go like this and then go three, it says the ID is three, okay? We go 99, ID is 99, okay? So that's the vibe and the key is adding this request thing here. We do need this. There's how you get the ID. Um, after that, it's very easy. You know how to do this, right? You query equals select all from books where ID equals ID. And then we just say result equals MySQLI load up the query which contains the query above. Uh, and then we say data very similar to what we've been doing above. Data equals result, and then we say loading up, fetch, ASOC, and then that is pretty much it. Same vibe as before, folks. Same vibe as before. And so what we end up with is something like this, okay? So see how that's a single row? It's as easy as that, okay? Um, so there we go, and if we end up doing an invalid ID, it just returns null, so that's fine, we don't need to worry about that. Pretty simple, eh? And uh, I think I may leave it at that, so how about a nice little short video for a change? Okay, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.